So just arrived at Rona here, gonna go check out their selection. Haven't been here in a few months. See if we could find anything for around the Winnebago. Maybe some uh, backsplash for the kitchen. Always gotta love a wicked deal. You saved $18. Last episode, we got uh, all this stuff ripped out, and uh, well, time to clean it up and work on the next part. Oh look, it's raining again, guys. It's raining again. Just out for a morning stroll. See what kind of mess we got going on out here. They've actually ripped up our road this last week, and they've been redoing it. But because there's been so much rain. Now we are left with, yeah, not sure if it's mud, clay, asphalt, mixture of old pavement. I don't know. But our road needed to get redone, so I am glad it's getting redone. Yeah, what a mess. And we're going to get to work. Let's see if we can get some of the backsplash. So we were going to wait to uh, get the countertop installed before we started the backsplash, but there's a pretty good uh, definition line of where the countertop will go. Alright, so I have a confession to make. Um, I have to learn how to do math. <laughs> I've never really been great at math, but uh, anyways, we ran a little bit short, not much, but a little bit. So I had to go back to Rona, pick up some more, and uh, at least now it will be done properly. I had enough before, but I didn't take into account all like the little cuts. So we basically would have had to piece together the last little bit around the window and it just, it wouldn't have looked good, so. All right, so let's measure. Still raining everybody. I'm really sick of the rain by now. You shouldn't complain it's summer, but I'm done. It's starting to look pretty gnarly over there. We've been getting uh, lots of rain, quite a few storms uh, down south, southern Alberta. They've got hit pretty hard, lots of hail. Anything like that. I do love storm watching, but uh, I don't like it when it damages properly. Start of a double rainbow there, guys. I think we're in for it, guys. All right guys, so the second confession of the video, I actually deleted um, half of the footage, if not more than half. Uh, pretty much everything of putting up the backsplash, measuring it out, uh, but it is pretty straightforward. And uh, 
it is peel and stick. So if you guys do it, I do recommend it. It worked out great in the RV. Um, it was really cheap and it's lightweight if you're worried about things like weight. I don't think we have to worry about weight so much, but I just didn't want to do the grout and tile and it's just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about putting grout and tile in an actual motorhome that is moving on the road and constantly shifting. If you guys liked today's video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and uh, we shall see you guys soon.